So, you want to play Honkai Star Rail, but you're not sure where to start or what you should be focusing on early game. Well, I'm Ufi, and I'm going to go over 6 tips for Honkai Star Rail early game. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, as it really helps out my small but growing channel. Okay, let's get into it! Honkai Star Rail is a turn-based game, so my best advice here is to treat it like the Pokemon games. Progress through the storyline and use the story rewards to build your characters. If you get to a point where the enemies are too hard, start doing the side quests and exploring. That way you can upgrade your characters so they are strong enough to move on in the storyline. Don't worry about builds just yet. You're not going to have access to the higher level cocoons or bosses to get those 4 or 5 star relics and mats. So, just use what you've got in your inventory when building your early game characters. The 2 and 3 star relics and light cones work just fine for the starter characters. If you do need more power, upgrade your character's main level and upgrade their light cones. In the beginning, you'll get lots of the same light cones, so you can refine or superimpose and upgrade them for a little boost to get you through the beginning content. Study your character's techniques. These techniques are attacks or skills that you can use right before or to initiate battle with enemies. This will help give you an early advantage in every battle depending on what character's technique you use. To use a technique skill in the overworld, approach an enemy and hit E to use the skill. You can use four technique skills before initiating an encounter, but the offensive technique skills will automatically initiate battle, so be sure to use that one last. Always look at the enemy's weaknesses before initiating battle and switch to a character with the corresponding technique. For example, Asta's technique inflicts fire damage to all the enemies and you get the first attack. March 7th's technique will freeze an enemy when the battle starts. Others can even provide buffs and heal allies like Natasha and the physical MC. Healers aren't needed that much in early game or to get through the story, but if you're wanting to farm cocoons and bosses or the simulated universe, then you'll definitely want a healer on your team. Natasha is the first healer you get for free and I highly suggest building her once you get her. Unlike Genshin, most of the 4 stars can be used for in-game content. Star Rail did an amazing job with the main character's setup. The MC is actually useful in early and in-game content. If you haven't gotten Natasha yet, but need a healer in a pinch, the physical MC can use their technique to heal allies in the overworld. Starting out, I recommend using MC, March 7th, and Don Heng for your DPS, and you can switch out between Bronya and Asta for your supports. Asta is also a great sub DPS to inflict fire damage on multiple enemies at once and can provide the team with a speed buff. I'll be making a detailed video on the gameplay of all the early game characters, so stay tuned for that. Take your time in battle. I cannot stress this enough. The battles in Star Rail will all be turn based. That means you're not limited to a time crunch like some Genshin domains or challenges. In the beginning, it's easy to click the wrong skill or button while starting out, so take your time to assess the enemy's weaknesses and use your skills accordingly. Pro tip, like Genshin, the ults in Star Rail will recharge with energy by using skills. If you have an ult ready, you can use your ult at any point in the battle, even if it's not your turn. Keep in mind that some characters can speed up your allies, so utilize your Harmony Path characters to give your DPS allies an edge in battle. You'll get to a point where you cannot go further with the story until you've hit the next Trailblaze level, like your adventure rank in Genshin. So, you'll need to start to explore a bit and do some more battles to rank up. There's also some really great hidden lore you'll find by investigating objects around the city and talking to NPCs. That's also a great way to get some free materials and items. Because this is just a quick 6 tips for beginners, I'll be keeping this video short and sweet. If this video helped or if you have any questions regarding your Star Rail, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them in my next videos. Don't forget to click that like and hit that subscribe button. Once again, I'm Ufi and thank you so 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 much for watching.